Hello everybody, it's Lady Kaylee here and today I'm going to do a book review on The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. And what <laughs> what I find funny is that a lot of people have like shit to say about my reviews. One, um, my reviews are not, you know, step by step like to like, I don't have a format to go over the book with you guys. I go over the book with you guys in the way that I do. That way we can have a discussion in the comments below. That's the point of my review. And I just find it funny because everyone's like, you don't even do a review. You do like overviews or you just, you know, talk about the actual book. You do know the word review means to go over, which means as long as I'm going over the book, it doesn't matter how I'm doing it. I'm still doing a freaking review. Review means to go over. I just, I just want to like let you guys know what that word means, you know, just, just before I start. So anyways, this book, oh my God, like going through the first two books is so worth it to get to this book. Whether or not you like the first two, it's really worth it just to make it to this one. I mean, I enjoyed the first two, but I was just really wondering how all the pieces were going to fit together at the end of the day and how just everything was going to come out of this. Like you're given a lot of like clues. Like I just, I couldn't put everything together in the way that it evolved. And so I really like that because obviously that means it's not predictable. And the way everything was set up and ended was brilliant. I think I think it all came together really nicely. It wasn't what I was expecting. So you had a progression of the adventure without the adventure being obvious or just, you know, oh, here it is. There you go. It was definitely set up. And as you go along, you learn new things and things start to come together in a way that you weren't really expecting. And I really enjoyed that. I really thought it was amazing. And um, personally, since I like to study theology and I'm really into it, um, I found this series in particular especially uh, appealing. So if you are into theology or, you know, theological um, works that are kind of just even just inspired by religion or anything like that. I, I think you'll definitely enjoy this book in particular. Um, it definitely has Christian elements. Uh, I could um, see elements of maybe stuff like Paradise Lost being a, you know, a definite influence. And um, it was just really, really interesting. I was not expecting the extent of what happened to happen. And um, I think it was actually wrapped up really nicely for tackling something so big. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it turns out that, you know, they're fighting this authority and, um, you know, it just becomes very, uh, like symbolism and realism just like mesh, like crazy. <laughs> and it just, it becomes just this huge, almost otherworldly battle and you know you can't take something that huge and like just put everything in one book and yet it was done and I think it was done really well um, and it was just it was really interesting like just I was not expecting this take and so if you like you know the idea of theological aspects and you know questioning authority and questioning, you know, those aspects. Um, I would definitely take a look into this book and, um, you know, it goes over many themes like, you know, just death and life and um, questioning authority and, um, you know, what's good and what's bad. That's a big one that I think this book series explores is, you know, what's good and what's evil. And so, um, it's just, it's done brilliantly, and I just was not expecting something from a young adult novel, like, just this amazing and well done, um, especially with all the themes that it ends up tackling. I was just not expecting that much, um, so it was, it was great. It was brilliant. Like, this, this last book in particular just blew me away. I like the other ones, but this book... Oh my God, like I just, I got so excited about it. I just wanted to talk about it with everyone. So 
If you have read the series, please, oh my god, please talk to me in the comments below. Um, if not, go ahead and check it out. I really, I really would um, pick it up. I don't care what age you are. I think it tackles very um, heavy questions and themes that, you know, they're not, you know, rated R or anything, but they're definitely, you know, human. There's a very human element, and that doesn't, it doesn't matter what age you are, because humanity is something we all have in common. So, um, I really recommend this. Um, if you need to contact me outside of YouTube, there's all my links in the description below to my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, so on and so forth, all in the description below. I just said that. <laughs> um, anyways, I need to go before I just start rambling. All right. Bye.